Hello, Facebook. I'm Dr. Jane. I am a prenatal and pediatric chiropractor here in Orange County, um, California, just to clarify that. Uh, sorry, I'm a few minutes late, but running a practice with moms and babies means we're on a different time zone. So people come in, things get a little rowdy in here. Um, if you could see in the background, Ooh, something's going on with my computer. I don't know if you can still see me, but I'm going to try to figure it out because I don't see you guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. You popped up into a different, uh, a different window. That was weird. Okay. So now I'm back. Um, I was just saying the Cairo kids, this side, you can see behind us, um, I have a really big passion for kids. First and foremost, I have two of my own. I have my five-year-old son, Cruz, and then my two-year-old daughter. And um, they're just really rad. They're super cool. They um, are such good energy. They are just purely themselves. Um, so I enjoy being around them and working with them. And um, sometimes they just don't necessarily have the resources to help themselves, obviously, being a kid. And so being a pediatric chiropractor, I um, love being an advocate for kids. So if you guys are hopping on here on the live, go ahead and comment below. Let me know where you guys are chiming in from. I know we have people all over the world, so hopefully this time works for you guys. I'd love to see where you're coming in from. You could also put like a little wave high five uh, emoji down there. Let me know that you're here and we'll get started. Um, so I know this is mainly about essential oils, and I'm going to get into that because they're amazing. They're a beautiful, beautiful product, especially for what I uh, work with. But um, I just wanted to give a little um, description about what it is that I do um, with specifically children and their spine. So the way the body works is that the brain, our brain sits up here, and our brain controls all the functions of the body. So the way it does that is it sends energy from our brain through our spinal cord, out through the nerves to every single organ and tissue, right? So that's how our body coordinates functions. And that's the way I'm speaking to you right now. That's the way my lungs breathe, my heart beats is because my brain is signaling to that organ. Then the organ also talks back up into the brain to let it know, hey, I'm doing my job. Um, and so it's a whole cyclical cycle. Now, the spinal cord is housed by the spine. And if through any kind of traumas, say a big fall, car accident, fall off the jungle gym, maybe birth trauma, something we see quite often, um, those actually individual bones can shift out of place. And when those shift occur, it blocks that communication system from the brain to the rest of the body. So first and foremost, as a pediatric chiropractor, I sit down with moms, dads, uh, guardians of the kids, and really talk about what kind of physical, emotional, and chemical trauma that they may have encountered. So I wanted you guys to just know, first and foremost, I always check the nervous system, make sure that's communicating properly. And then because of the toxic load that we encounter now, um, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Southern California. <laughs> we uh, recently took a trip up to Utah. We were there for the weekend. And um, when we, when we went up there, my kids had kind of a runny nose. When we went up there, it went completely away. And then as we dr literally drove into LA County, it started to come back. So there's a toxic load here. We know that. Um, there's a lot of stuff in our air. There's stuff in our water and our food. And some of it we can control and some of it we cannot. Um, the statistics are just crazy. I, was, I wrote down, so we have our air, food, water, that's obviously polluted. I believe we're at three times the amount of vaccines we're receiving at this time compared to when I received vaccines. We have conventional drugs, which have a time and place for sure. I totally respect the medical field and what they do because they save lives. Um, but it's when we're at a certain point. So I want people to understand there's a spectrum of health. On one side, there's health. One side, there's sickness. And we make daily choices to move towards either sickness or towards health. And there, there are gray areas. So in my mind, in order to stay healthy, we do things like sleep well, eat well, 
maybe take supplements to um, help nourish those uh, nutrients that we're getting from our food. We may meditate and do yoga. We may do things that make us happy, fill up our cup, right? Um, obviously get chiropractic care. And then there are things that can move us towards the other side as well. So the reason that I get really specific about that spectrum is because in my mind, um, medical field is way more on this side. So they wait until you have a certain diagnosis, until you're in this crisis care, crisis mode, and then they come in really, they come in handy. They save lives. Like I said before, like they will come in and provide a miracle surgery or, um, you know, different things like that, that I could not provide for people. But um, again, that's in this side, crisis mode, right? So now we get to talk a little bit more of what things that we can do before we get to that and stay more in this health zone so that we can live a fun, healthy um, life with people that we love doing the things we love. So um, a big answer, what do you guys think? Essential oils, right? Um, if you guys have experienced them at all in this point, you know they are super safe, they are extremely effective and very cost effective. So they are just a beautiful pairing for what I do in the office, how I work with families. And um, I wanted to point out probably the top five things that kids will actually come into my office for and how I use essential oils with them. So number one, and this is actually how I got started with doTERRA, is uh, immune system support. And my son actually obviously receiving chiropractic care and natural remedies, um, energy work. I mean, we, we do it all. And he had this consistent chronic cough that would just not go away. Um, and luckily, someone had shared a little vial of breathe oil with us. So we uh, actually just, I didn't know what to do with it. So I just kind of like put it on him and hope for the best because nothing was working and he was waking me up, my husband. Um, and within 15 minutes, his coughing completely stopped and he slept through the night. So that kind of got me hooked and was like, okay, what is this? I want to learn a little bit more. And um, immune system is just one of those things that as kids are growing older, it's developing. And so we want to do as many things as we can to support it. So some of my top oils, obviously breathe for respiratory health and support is a great one. Breathe, I use that um, mainly in two ways. We will use it in a diffuser. I don't have it here. We'll either use the diffuser and put some drops in there, especially at nighttime, or we will dilute it with coconut oil, which I'll go over dilution at the end, um, but definitely dilute for kids. And we apply to the chest, even to the back, and sometimes to the feet, depending on the severity of the respiratory challenge that is going on. So breathe is awesome. We also use On Guard, and we can actually use this as more of a preventative measure. So On Guard is one of doTERRA's big blends for immune support. They have a whole entire line that is beautiful. Um, they have beadlets to help with easy ingestion, um, of throat lozenges, which are great for any of like the, you know, itchy, sore throats. They have a whole line for cleaning the house, which I'm getting off topic because the kids necessarily, well, they help out with cleaning, but um, it's just a really great product, the On Guard, that we always have on hand. And my little tidbit with this is to actually make a hand sanitizer. So you guys know how important your gut health is? Question mark. Gut health is a huge one. We're talking a lot about fermented food now, um, taking your probiotics, which doTERRA has a beautiful um, product for children specifically to keep our gut health um, functioning well. But our gut is technically our second brain. That's what we're calling it now. So we need great bacteria in there. And so if we are using products that are antibacterial, which a lot of hand sanitizers are, then you're taking off good bacteria with it. So my personal favorite I have in the office um, between visits is I mix in, I actually reuse these bottles. So I love reusing this bottle and I'll put 10 drops of On Guard and fill the rest with water, get a spritz top. And then I can just spritz it in my hand and go like this so that all the yuckies get taken off my hand and I'm good to go into the next one. So that's not going to take off the bad, um, the good bacteria. It's just going to get rid of any like viruses or bacteria that could transmit to the next. So On Guard is a great, great product to have on hand for immune support. 
Some others that I'll just list for you, melaleuca, oregano, lemon, and frankincense, which I don't have on hand, but all of those are ones that I will combine and use differently for children to help support their immune system as well. Um, a part of the immune system, and I actually had two kids today come in that were experiencing fluid backup for the ears, so ear issues can come about. Once again, chiropractic is great because structurally we can help. Their ears are usually more flat, the ear tunnels, and so with the adjustments we can help settle them a little bit more diagonal to help the fluid actually um, drain. And then what I like to send parents home with is using melaleuca and lavender diluted, and they'll actually do a lymph massage or drainage. So again, lymphs will be back here all the way at the base of your skull, and so they can bring it all the way back here behind the ear down the front of your neck all the way to your bone here and then pump three times and you can do that on each side to help drain the lymphs so that's great for any backup in the ear or any anytime your immune system is working overload those lymph nodes you'll feel they get inflamed and so it's a great way to just massage moving everything through so nothing gets backed up so immune support is huge especially as kids start school or um, are in sports and they want to be proactive in there with their team, so immune system. Cool. Number one. The second thing that I see kids for would be digestive health. So especially um, smaller babes that are either constipated or have like colic, reflux, things like that, that is a big, big reason um, that people come in. So they're looking for digestive support. So again, once we check the spine and make sure that the nervous system is working at 100%, um, I think the biggest reason I really gravitated to doTERRA, one, the efficacy and how amazing they are and how fast they work, but it feels really, really good as a practitioner to, yes, give my service and gift, but then give them something that they can do at home. Now, I can't be everywhere with everybody all the time, and so if a mom is experiencing something at 2 a.m., whether it's reflux or something with the ear and immune system, they actually have tools at home now that they can do something proactively to help their kid. Um, I would say that feels better as a practitioner than just being able to do something for them and waiting for them to come see me. I almost see it as teaching people how to fish rather than fish for them. So that's why I've really, really enjoyed bringing these into the practice and um, sharing, just like as many of you probably have been doing. So for digestive health, Digestin is a great one to have on hand. Um, again, diluted and rubbed on the area, maybe the top of um, the stomach area, if there's any stomach discomfort there, or a little bit lower and in a clockwise pattern to help move digestion through. Um, Digestin. Those are, that's the big way for that. For babies, I've actually had some really cool experiences helping sluggish digestive system using lemon. So again, diluted, you're gonna rub lemon, just like I said with digestion, on the belly in a clockwise motion. And almost every time we've had the digestive system be super supported and um, let go really, really quickly. So that's a fun one. And if that ever helps you, let me know because I just like adding it to my, my repertoire. So lemon and digestin are the big ones for digestive system. And there's also marjoram. So marjoram is in general going to help relax any tight muscles. And sometimes a sluggish uh, digestive system can be because of that. So it can be this tension, this kind of sensation and marjoram will just help relax that and it's the same application process as lemon and digestin diluted clockwise manner on the stomach a little bit lower onto the abdomen so that's for digestive um let's see now we're going to move on to number three number three is sleep support any mamas out there sleep you want more sleep <laughs> i know i love my sleep um before having kids, I slept 10, 12 hours. Now with uh, two kids and a business, just less and less, but we're still doing it. So the go-to for sleep and sleep support would definitely be lavender. A lavender is probably the most popular oil that people have heard about because it's in other products. 
bubble bath, lotions for rest and relaxation. Um, but people definitely notice once they use this lavender, um, like how effective it is because of the pure, purity of the product. Um, but I always have people try lavender out first. And something I should have mentioned at the beginning is the reason I give kind of a list is just like medications, essential oils work differently with everyone's biochemistry. So lavender might work really well for say 75% of the population, but for the other 25, they might need something more like our blend called Serenity, which is a really great one. So Serenity is something that I would use in the diffuser. You can always use on feet. That's probably one of the biggest areas for kids, but love it in the diffuser for again, for sleep and just chilling out. What else? We have vetiver, which is a wood oil. Again, very calming and relaxing. Anytime you have an oil with a woodsy tone to it, it's going to be more grounding and centering. Um, and so vetiver and cedarwood would be two woodsy oils to try out for sleep. And then the last one would be spikenard. You can try spikenard out for sleep as well. So sleep support is great, especially as sleep is the time that we actually heal. Our body is able to just reset, do its thing, and then we can wake up with great energy. So the number fourth reason that parents will bring their babes into me is for neurodevelopmental delays. Now, this is a pretty big topic, especially as we talk about our toxic load getting more and more. And um, what I mean by a neurodevelopmental delay is uh, if your nervous system literally isn't growing at the pace and speed that we would see in a normal sea. So there's always a range, but um, we want to make sure kids are crawling at a certain age and make, using both sides properly. Um, certain muscles are engaging properly at the same time. All those things will actually let us know if the nervous system and brain are functioning at the way that it should be at that time. So um, obviously, I'll say it again, I've been saying it the whole time, but checking the nervous system is my priority. And then the way that I give parents tools to help with these delays is to give them more calming and relaxing. So if you look at our society, we are on we are go, 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 right? We wake up, we check our phones, we gotta take kids to school, we gotta do this, just a lot is going on. And so a lot of the oils to help with our nervous system to just like chill out and decrease stress are again, more woodsy and more grounding oils. So similar to sleep, we have our lavender oil, which is great. We've got lavender, we've got our vetiver again, which is really great. Um, my personal favorite is balance. Balance is a beautiful blend. It's got frankincense in there, which is for me, one of my favorite um, oils that works really well for me in particular being a mom and things going around. But then if I mix balance for the kids with wild orange and I'll put it in the diffuser, this is the, I'm just, everyone's gonna relax and be able to um, stay kind of a thing. So balance and wild orange together is one of my favorite diffuser blends for the kiddos. Cool. Awesome. So number five, the last reason people come in here into my office or just want more information about what chiropractic care and essential oils can do for them is emotional health. Yes, emotional health. <laughs> um, uh, kids are human too. They are experiencing emotions. Emotions are a big thing for them. Um, so we, once, I feel like once we are centered and can take care of our emotions or be more in a proactive state rather than reactive, then that's what they're going to pick up on. So one of my go-to um, kind of kits, if you will, would be the this touch emotional kit. Um, they have this also for single oils, but for emotions in particular, I love this one because I heard a story at convention last year of a woman who has older children, their teens, and um, they are in such a state of like proactive health in their family that they realize emotions actually take a lot um, on our body. It creates stress and it can manifest into physical symptoms. So she told this story about her teenage son coming home from football practice 
and realizing he had pain on his knee. And rather than going to grab, maybe they had an oil to support pain. But instead of doing that, he went to a book that they have specifically about emotions and looked up knee pain and said, knee pain is actually due to a certain emotion. And he grabbed an oil to help support him in that emotional state rather than the physical symptom he was feeling. And when I heard that story, it was such an evolved um, action and kind of self-exploration for this teenage kid that I was just like, yes, that is what I want my children to have tools for. And um, so that's why I love this kit. It's got six different oils with different blends. It starts over, start over here with, it's got motivate, cheer, and passion, which are more uplifting blends. And we have forgive, console, and peace, which are um, a little more chill you out tones. So since these are a touch, that means they do already mixed with fractionated coconut oil, which makes it a really great way to rub on the bottom of your feet, your children's feet, so that um, they can receive the benefits right away. Um, so yeah, these are great for emotion. Let's see if you guys have anything cool. Let's see. So I saw a question real quick. I'm just going to go through them before I wrap up. So I see a question about for babies still on belly. So yes, babies, even as young as infants, you can apply to their bellies. The thing is you want to make sure it's diluted properly. So that kind of segue, segues perfectly. So we want to dilute all of our oils for our children. Yes, I will dilute them. They're very potent. Our, if you look at our peppermint, one drop of peppermint oil is equivalent to 28 drops or 28 cups, excuse me, of peppermint tea. That's a lot, right? So we want to dilute them for the little people um, and sometimes for adults too. Um, my kind of rule of thumb is everybody knows their body best. Even as a healthcare practitioner, if I'm going to prescribe something to you, you know how your body responds to certain things. So questions I would ask are, do you get really, really, um, are you sensitive to caffeine, alcohol, any other medica medical drugs you've taken before? For me personally, if I drink a cup of coffee, you don't want to be around me. I'm obnoxious because it just sets me off. So for me personally, I know I'm a little bit more sensitive to anything that I'm going to add to my system. So that's for adults. For kids, same thing. Some of them are a little more sensitive and they won't need as much. But the rule of thumb for kids is if we have a roller bottle, which one of my favorite ways to teach moms um, to actually make their own blends at home is you take a 10 milliliter roller bottle. It's going to be empty. And then whatever um, mix you want to make, or if you want to make a single oil, you're going to put, you're going to put three drops in there and then you're going to fill the rest up with fractionated coconut oil. So if you're going to make a blend, I would recommend one to three drops of each oil that you're adding in there. And then you have an on the go way to, um, to use on your kids. So then they can just take it off, apply to the feet. If we're going to be doing the lemon or digestin for um, digestive health, one to two drops in a roller bottle, and then that's where you can apply with the roller bottle onto the belly in the, the clockwise position and then massage with your hand. So that's a really, really important is the dilution. Um, what other questions? I was asked for a blend to not only help them fall asleep, but remain sleeping all night great one so um again they're varying so i'm guessing maybe someone tried lavender or you know some gen more common one for sleep for to actually stay asleep would be one getting your nervous system checked yeah that's a big one um but then i would look at maybe doing vetiver i don't know if they've tried vetiver but vetiver is um it's a very very like grounding potent one, I would say. It's um, something that you can put on the bottom of their feet. Um, I guess maybe Angela, you could let me know if they what they've tried and what could actually, uh, we could try different things for them. So let's see. Cool, I think that's all your questions so far. Um, yeah, the last little bit with kids is we went over chiropractic care, we went over essential oils, how to support their systems. And the last little bit is is cell health. So doTERRA has really beautiful brands. I mentioned um, 
the PB Assist. They also have the A to Z chewables as well as the fish oil. And I want all my kids to have really, really good foundation of health. So then all these other beautiful products can work their magic too. So getting on good probiotics, fish oil, and a multivitamin are huge. Um, depending on what's going on, we may have to supplement with other things as well, but that gives a really great foundation. So I think that's all I've got for you beautiful people. I appreciate you uh, sticking in there. If you guys have any other questions, I see one popped up. How early do you start probiotics with kids? I have a two month old. That's a great question. You can actually start as early as birth. I would not use this product. This is for kids that are actually eating solids and a little bit older. So Andrea, I'll post um, a link to a specific infant probiotic you can use. And it's a very easy application where you just apply it to your nipple if you're breastfeeding or you can add it to formula. Um, but again, it can be really beneficial if there has been a cesarean um, birth which then they miss the flora from the vaginal canal. And so the probiotics for infants can actually really help build up that gut um, microbe again. Cool? Cool. Okay, so I'm seeing another. Okay, so Angela, they said, tried uh, vetiver, lavender, and balance. So I would go with serenity. And then actually, I don't know if she's mixed those. But Angela, I'm gonna, um, we'll just kind of chat back and forth because then we can kind of troubleshoot rather than spending the time here to do that. Um, Marjorie, kid's daughter walks with her foot a bit inward. So things, postural dis um, distortions that I see like that could potentially be from the spine. I always tell people, just go get checked. Um, we always check our teeth. We take our kids get get, get their teeth checked when? Generally when they come in, maybe the first year. And I say, when do you get your spine checked? Maybe in my 40s or 50s when I finally feel some pain. But uh, it's a really beautiful thing if you can maintain a healthy spine throughout your life rather than having to get to that crisis mode again. Uh, yay, seeing some beautiful comments. What else? What about the vitamins for a toddler? Is it okay to give, is it okay to give one A to Z? Yeah, I love their vitamins if they're if they're good with them. So toddler, I'm guessing like two, three ish. Um, yeah, they're a beautiful product for them, and the probiotics too. Sometimes you can mix it in yogurt. It's Sure if you guys can see me there we go um, I'm gonna sign off here again if you have any questions feel free to post below I will be answering them throughout the day I really appreciate you guys being here and um, lots of love to you all